after a long time with a heat wave here in Denmark, it kind of feels amazing to re-experience grey weather and a bit of raindrops on the window. It's the perfect weather to just sit back and have a chat about the new house. I'm gonna answer your questions after the first video that was an empty house tour. I did expect questions. I just thought the video was so long already that kind of like filling in all of the gaps and questions I haven't answered um, that could wait. So it's time. If you haven't already made yourself something to drink, I would recommend a coffee. I drink iced coffee and uh, a cozy place to sit. And then we're going to have a chat about this new exciting chapter. I have 132 comments under the post on the community tab. So I'm going to answer the questions with the most likes and um, we will see how far we're gonna get. First, first question. Um, did you buy this house? And I think I need just a little bit more info before I can answer that question because Do you remember in I think it was in June I had fallen in love with a property and On the night that I was viewing it for the third time I brought my mom my boyfriend my boyfriend's parents and My dream just came crashing down after the viewing, we were standing in the driveway and my boyfriend's father was like Do you remember that the house that we sent you a link to? It's not that far away It's um, there's nobody there. Should we go there and have a look? And that night I was like sure sure let's do it So we drove out to this massive red house in bricks and I think in some way I felt a little bit like I did the first time I saw my car. Um, like laughing a little, it was not really what I expected that I wanted. Um, it's kind of like, I, I look at this house as like super ugly, but with great potential. So we were walking around the house and I think my focus was very much on all of the things that I had wanted, but couldn't get from this property like the romantic feeling that wasn't already there the old school romantic details but my boyfriend's father he did a great job pointing out that the house was healthy much cheaper to renovate in comparison to some of the buildings that I had been viewing um, they were in a different state they were much uh, more expensive to fix so in some way he planted a seed inside my mind and also my boyfriend was it was the first house that he had been really um, motivated himself he could see the potential this time which also made a big impact on me so we decided that we were going to view it on the inside with a real estate agent one week later so yada yada yada, we kinda saw the potential, called my boyfriend's dad and asked him if he could go and view it with us like inside so he could see the installations and everything and he just laughed in the phone and he said that they had actually already viewed it and jumping to like a week later again um, my boyfriend's father called us one night and he had placed an offer on the house that we didn't know a very very low offer and They had accepted it So what he wanted to say on the phone was that This was now a price point that had been accepted. They were willing to sell it this cheap so now he was giving me the chance to buy it at this price. So I was going to be able to purchase the house if I wanted to. But he also presented another option that my boyfriend's parents would buy the house now. Then we could renovate it together. We would have the chance to move in, test it out, 
see if it's something that we like and that we would like to live in in the future um, and then we could at some point buy the house together so my boyfriend and I were chatting away um, had many conversations about what we were gonna do we ended up agreeing that it would be an amazing opportunity getting to test out what it means to live in such a big house on the countryside living together for the first time and if we fall in love with the house it's much better for the two of us to own the property 50 50 instead of me owning the house and my boyfriend just kind of being there so that's what has happened i have not bought the house yet but the agreement is that if my boyfriend and I, we wake up one morning, one month from now, or six months from now, or a year from now, we can at any time call up his parents and say, we are ready to buy the house. And then that's what's going to happen. So it very much feels like a family project as it is right now. Um, and I do think like it's been something I've been really nervous to find out like how much I was gonna feel like I had something to say in this matter um, but I definitely do I have said something like I don't want this kitchen I want some different windows and there's nothing yet that hasn't been possible the wall that my boyfriend and I wanted to break down to have one big living room it's just everything has just been okay sure if that's what you want then that's what we're gonna do so it's it's a family project it's super fun and it's also an amazing help to have my boyfriend's father helping us out because he has built so many houses that he knows exactly what we are gonna do in pretty much all situations so I didn't buy the house my boyfriend didn't buy the house but hopefully we will renovate it and purchase it at some point in the future. That was a long, long chat. <laughs> I love that this person kind of just asked all the questions. Did you buy the house? Are you doing the renovations yourselves? Are you keeping the cottage? Are you getting married? Are you going to see your boyfriend? Are we going to see your boyfriend on camera soon? It's a difficult question, but I think I should try to answer this one. Are you going to keep the cottage? It's something I've been iffy about. It's a decision that I've been pushing away and still kind of am. But I must say that just having the keys or having have had, having had, 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 after just one week with keys to the house, I already feel such an ownership of the house. I feel like every little thing that I have said so far that I would like in the house or that I would like to change, everything is very much respected and listened to. And in that way, I think the feeling of ownership, even though it's not my boyfriend's and my money yet, that's very important for me. Um, I think I know that if this feeling was any different if I didn't feel like it was my house my cottage would be very important for me I would need somewhere that I could go and have just no strings and nobody who could tell me what to do and what not to do but in reality there are many rules in an allotment garden and if things continue as it is now with the house I'm going to feel a lot more free there to do whatever I want to do. And obviously I'm going to have a massive house and a huge garden to grow veggies, plant flowers and sunflowers and hang up my hammock and just make an amazing environment that obviously if I really grow to love this house, that's where I want to put my energy. So realistically, I'm probably going to be um, selling my cottage and I have one year like from the month I move out of the city to a different city I have to sell um, my cottage within one year so 
yeah it, it is probably gonna happen like next spring i think i'm gonna wait until um until then to not make any drastic decisions right now but it's gonna be it's gonna be a sad sad goodbye um it it really is let's just take the getting married one i'm not getting married i i don't believe in marriage so i might never get married are we going to see your boyfriend on camera soon we i actually I asked my boyfriend last week or maybe just a few days ago um what he thought and i think for now we like it this way he likes that he's not on camera and that he's just private but maybe at some point maybe there's gonna be a picture on instagram of us in the new house maybe he's, maybe he's gonna pop up on the camera from time to time like in the background i don't know i think at some point it would make sense for you to just see him and know what he works with and just know a few things about him but um I have a feeling that things are going to change a little as soon as we are living together um, because he's going to be there all, not all the time but again <laughs> I was just about to say what he works with but he's not going to be there all the time he's going to be away and um, yeah how did you find this place and why was it abandoned with all that stuff in it I wonder why people literally walk away from homes and places. So this home was an institution for teenagers with issues. So they were living here having supervision and grown-ups around them all the time. And I have no idea why they decided to just walk away from so many things. Like literally, literally literally we have found albums just full of pictures of these young people which i actually believe is illegal to just leave them there as an institution so we have handed those over to the real estate agent told him that he should pass them on but also the fact that their dirty laundry is still in the basement we have like all sorts of things like their names are everywhere. You can see the names of the teenagers living there. It's so strange. But yeah, the institution closed down because from what I remember, the real estate agent told us that the teenagers were getting worse. So they had to put them somewhere else. And therefore, there's been nobody there since the beginning of the year. Um, and yeah so much stuff has just been left behind which is so odd i kind of like this question because i've been very open about all of the things that i kind of dislike about the house so is there anything about the house you like as it is and don't want to change so there definitely is i can put in a few clips i like there is a round window in the hallway i like the stairways in the house um, there are some stones made up like in the garden that I can show you. I like that. Mm. I like the big terrace on the back of the house. I like the magnolia tree and the massive trees in general. Um, I mean, they're like 100 years old and so impressive. Um, but I think trees does not count. I don't know. There are things that I like. Um... Did you make a Pinterest board on how you'd like to decorate slash remodel the house? If so, can we see it? I actually have saved a few pictures on Pinterest with like colors that I like um, and some bathrooms and such that I can put a link to down below if you're interested. But I haven't really decided on much. I think I've decided on the color in the hallway. I have a strong picture in my mind. <laughs> Okay, this one is a little bit of a critical question. Can you explain the whole situation to us? What is your thinking about this move? It seems like it's your dream to have a house with property away from the city and getting together with your boyfriend made it possible, but it seems like a huge change, 
a huge commitment and a completely new plan what happened um i'm a bit confused about this question because i've been wanting to get out of the city um for years <laughs> so the property hunt actually began began before i met my boyfriend and it has not made it possible because i met him i was going to buy a property and he he's like jumped onto the wagon by time also i mean time kind of also works for you a little bit when you meet someone when at the beginning of the year where i was seriously looking at houses i began my serious property hunt at the beginning of the year when i was told by the bank how much i could loan my boyfriend and i then had only been officially a couple for about half a year known each other for a year um, and been seriously dating for a year but the thing is that the time that has gone by like that six months extra you grow as a couple i mean my boyfriend is gonna turn 30 next year i'm gonna turn 29 next year we want to live together so um yeah i think i'm a little bit confused about this question because nothing has really changed for me this is what i've been wanting to do for such a long time what has changed is the fact that my boyfriend is moving with me and um, that's something new and that's because my camera just cut me off but my boyfriend and i would love to live together now and this was a priority that he could see himself move into as well because it's close to the train so that he can go to work easily and um, we just we could see our future together in this house so I think the fact that my boyfriend is going to be a, a bigger part of this new chapter I think that's actually the only thing that has changed if it was only up to me I would probably have found a house further out on the countryside I mean we still have neighbors so um oh probably the last important question to answer Congratulations on your new home. My question is, if you decide to have your business headquarters in your house, will you give up your shop space? And yes, that's been the plan, like this whole time, that I really wanted to find a property where I could just move my business to. It's gonna make it um, much cheaper for me, less stressful for me. It's also going to open up the possibility that I can travel some more that i like right now i have two rents in the city and a cottage and i also spend a lot of time at my boyfriend's so for right now i have four places and now putting it all together in this big house it makes it possible for me financially and time-wise to travel and to just do more things that it's gonna relieve me from some stress and some pressure um, and that's just super exciting so yeah I am going to leave the space I have now the dream is in the future to maybe join some markets over the summertime maybe just have like a pop-up shop here and there from time to time and eventually if I miss having a shop or a space in a city environment I can just do it again but I'm really excited about this situation I think it's gonna be it's gonna be fun the thing is that you don't know what decisions are going to feel like before you make them and I've been wanting to move to the countryside for a long time I don't know what it's gonna feel like until I've done it maybe it's gonna be too far out on the countryside maybe I want to go further out on the countryside I'm going to move my business and my home together. I don't know how that's going to feel. I don't know what it's going to feel like to live together with my boyfriend. Like, you don't know. You do not know. <laughs> you do not know until you just pull the trigger and you try stuff. I am so, so excited about everything that's going to happen. So, um... I hope you are going to be there with me. I 
hope that I managed to answer the most important questions. If not, leave them down below and uh, subscribe to my channel if you're not. And I'm gonna see you all soon with more renovation. Bye guys.